This was one of the first few steps. So first we unloaded the cart away from our yak friend. Thank you, yak friend. Thank you, yak. Then the first thing, what, what did we unload first? Oh, we unload this first. This man right these in the beams, center. Right? Yeah, these two beams. Right. Plus the sky, the sky, the skylight. The skylight. The tor, right? Was it called the tor? I think, I think so. It's the tor. And so somebody has to stand in the center and hold it. Yep. Hold it out. So that all these different little uh, wooden uh, poles mm -hmm. can go and lock into the skylight. But before that, we had to put up the lattice work. Yes. Because if not, there'd be nothing to latch it onto. So step one was unload the yak. Step two was put up the lattice work. Right? Cross it in. Cross it in and figure out how to tie these cute little knots yep. at the intersections. Yeah, and so then step three was... To tie this rope all yes. around the entire structure to kind of tighten it. Yeah, so that formed the foundation. So, so it's that was a kind solid cool. wall. Good job. Good job, us. Yeah. This is something else, isn't it? What was your favourite part about building the yurt? I think just working together with uh, the locals doing it in record time. Well, I think record time. <laughs> I mean, just look at all the detailing here. Like, someone had to hand paint all of this just so we get to look at something pretty when we sleep. <laughs> and because of the skylight. Yeah. Which you... also tells the time. Does it tell the time? How, do you, how does it tell the time? Based off the sun's position. So once they actually uh, put the covering over all this, right. based off uh, where the light shines inside right. the yurt, yeah. you can actually know uh, where I mean, you can actually know what time of the day it actually is. That's kind of awesome. Yeah. That also with the fact that the door actually points south. This door? Yeah. This door points south? Yeah. So... So it acts like a compass. Each year is a compass and a sundial. Hello from East Gobi Desert. Hi everyone. We are really here in the Gobi Desert. It barely feels real. We're here at the Iknar Nature Reserve. And this place, as you can see, is pretty darn gnarly. We can see everything that you want all the way up here. And if you look over here, you've got this huge congregation of, of many of the nomadic tribes in Mongolia. And once in a while they meet up to have an echo bone competition. Um, you know, and there's comp this competition, but they also have lots of fun singing, drinking, eating. It's, it's fantastic. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's a really great community event and that's one of the benefits that we have when we are doing 360 nomadic camping because we get to get out there and hang out with everyone in the community and see the things that they see and feel what it's like yeah. to be part of, to have a taste of nomadic life. Something else. 